Okay, hey guys. Today I'll be talking about CSS. So as I said last time, in the head tag in HTML, we always have to link the style sheet and the JavaScript. So over here, as you can see, I've already linked the style sheet. So link rel equals in quotation marks style sheet type text slash CSS um, hyperlink reference. Now this is going to be the file I have to make. So before that, now we have to link our JavaScript. Now we usually do that right after the body. So we're going to go script src. Right now we have to get main.js. This will be our coding file. So right now we just have to put that in there. Finish it off. That's it. That's how you link your JavaScript. Now you have to create the file and then link it so you won't get that error. As I can see, this is where we'll be doing the coding. Right now I'll just R well. Yeah. So now style.css. This is what I'm teaching you guys today. So in style.css, this consists, well, you have to remember three parts. You have to remember classes, IDs, and plane. So let me just talk about plane. So say you have five buttons in your HTML and you all want them to look the same. You're just gonna straight do button. And then you start to write your CSS. If you're doing a class, you're going to do a dot button. Now, if you're wondering about a classes, if say you have five buttons and you want three of the buttons to look the same, instead of giving an ID, you're going to give three. You're going to give a class with the same name, and you're going to write dot that name and all those three buttons. However, you do the CSS will look the same. Then, last but not least, is an ID where you have to do hashtag and your name. And you start coding. So hashtag technically, if you want one button to look unique, um, you put an ID and you could just put it in the CSS, and that one specific button will look as you want it to. So over here, how do we test it? So in coding pen, on the side, technically you can just see what you're coding, and brackets and Visual Studio Code. There's a different way. So over here. In brackets, uh, the go live button is usually in the top right, and for Visual Studio Code, it's in the bottom right. So I'm gonna click go, go live. Now it's gonna take me to Macron. Right. So now, if you can see, this does not look good at all. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the body. So why am I not putting a hashtag or a class? Is because the body is one thing. It, the body is not assigned to ID or a class, so I'm putting it directly. So text align. Center. Now what this does, this will take all the elements and they'll align them on the center. As you can see, all the elements are in the center. So now let's go with the image. So hashtag. Let's see what the image. The ID is I. So hashtag I. With 200 pixels height to awesome. Now you always put a colon, you don't put an equal sign. I sometimes tend to mess up with that. Okay, so this looks a little weird, so we're going to increase the width. 300. That looks much better. So now we're going to give a little border. Border, we're going to do it solid. So it's not going to be dashed or anything like that. We're going to do three pixels black, border radius, 10 pixels. As you can see right over there. Now we, now the text label over there says the image is not visible. So over here you're going to do visibility hidden. All right, so now what we're gonna do, I think right over here we need two beer tags. There needs to be more of a space. So now ID BTN. All right, so let's go hashtag BTN. 
part how we like this to show so as you can see if you look the image is actually not visible right now so that's a good thing so with oh, about 100 pixels right to be about 30 pixels oops no mistake over there all right what are we going to do after now we're going to do background color background color now you can also do rgb if you want i just like to hand pick a color out of here you can also do gradient gradient's pretty cool too and messed up one sec i'm gonna do over here copy and paste this right over here change this to two Right, so now over there. Now it's looking kind of plain, so background color. Let's find a nice light background color. Light blue, perfect. Now that is CSS. Now if you want to go a little more into it, we can do this. So ID text. So, all right so let's do font family so how about this one right let's take a look yep that looks pretty cool now that is how you do css in short as you can see before we did css it looked completely messed up now after CS looks nice and organized and the image is also not visible, as I said. So thank you guys for watching. In my next video, I'll be talking about JavaScript and how to make that image visible. I'm also going to be talking about document.getElement.id, which is a very important thing in the JavaScript, and which I'll be talking about a lot. So thank you guys for watching. See you in my next video.